Gentlemen, we are now awaiting the arrival of Colonel Kishore G. Yevle, Commander, Cadets Training Wing, College of Military Engineering, Pune, to take the salute. Colonel Kishore G. Yevle, Commander, Carriage Training Wing, College of Military Engineering, Pune, to take the salute. Treating alike, victory and defeat, gain and loss, pleasure and pain. Get ready for the fight. Then fighting thus, you would not incur sin. With this piece of discourse between Lord Krishna and Arjun in Bhagavad Gita, a very good morning, gentlemen. On behalf of Colonel Kishore G. Yevle, Commander, Cadets Training Wing, members of the staff and all gentlemen cadets, I, Gentlemen Cadet Abhishek Singh Chauhan, welcome you all on the momentous occasion of the passing out parade of TES 35 course of this premier training institute. You are requested to keep your mobile phones switched off during the proceedings today. Today, 26 gentlemen cadets of the Technical Entry Scheme, Course 35, will get commissioned and will join the noble profession of arms as Indian Army officers. Two foreign gentlemen cadets will join the Royal Bhutan Army. These gentlemen cadets are standing at the dawn of an exclusive, prestigious and virtuous career which will interest them to be role models for their soldiers, leaders capable of guiding and inspiring troops and exemplifying the qualities befitting the profession of arms. Gentlemen, the parade is awaiting the arrival of Major General Vikram Joshi, Deputy Commandant and Chief Instructor, College of Military Engineering, Pune, who would be arriving shortly to take the salute.
Major General Vikram Joshi is an alumnus of Indian Military Academy, Dehradun. The officer was commissioned in June 1985 into the Corps of Engineers in 270 Engineer Regiment. The general officer has the distinction of clearing Defence Services Staff College entrance exam in six years of service in a competitive vacancy. He has attended all important career courses which include the senior command course, higher command course at Army War College Mau and prestigious National Defence College at New Delhi. He is a Master of Science in Defence Studies, Postgraduate Diploma in Logistics Management and Master of Philosophy in Defence Studies. The General Officer has considerable experience in varied operational assignments across India and abroad, especially in Sri Lanka during Op Pawan and Iraq in UNICOM. Very early in service, he served in Op Pawan and was involved in very close encounter with potent IEDs. He single-handedly disposed of a large number of IEDs and was also responsible for imparting counter IED training to newly inducted units in Op Pawan. He commanded 112 Engineer Regiment in Desert Corps and was Chief Engineer of a Strike Corps. The General Officer has rich staff experience at all levels including AMS in MS Branch, GSO-1 Ops in Headquarter 33 Corps, Colonel Q Ops in Headquarter 2 Corps, Colonel GS Concept Engineers at Headquarter Army Training Command and DDG Combat Engineers at Engineer in Chief's Branch. The general officer is also a good sportsman. He is a good badminton player and low handicap golfer. I am a warrior. Defending my nation is my dharma. I will train my mind, body and spirit to fight. Excel in all devices and weapons of war, present and future. Always protect the weak. Be truthful and forthright. Be humane, cultured and compassionate. Fight and embrace the consequences willingly. God, give me strength that I ask nothing of you. This is the code of the warrior, gentlemen, which everybody in the armed forces proudly follows. All are requested to keep their mobile phones switched off in today's proceedings.
Gentlemen, Gentlemen, we, we have, have amidst us to take the salute Major General Vikram Joshi, Deputy Commandant and Chief Instructor, College of Military Engineering, Pune. This is indeed a momentous and proud occasion for the cadets training wing as the gentlemen cadets of technical entry scheme course 35 who had completed their basic military training at officers training academy Gaya in June 2017 will be commissioned as officers today. The safety, honor and welfare of your country comes first always and every time. The honor, welfare and comfort of the menu command come next. Your own ease, comfort and safety come last, always and every time. This basic principle of Chetwood Credo lays the strong foundation of military leadership in the gentlemen cadets at the military academies in India and cadets training wing College of Military Engineering Pune is no exception to the same. Gentlemen, the parade is now awaiting the arrival of Lieutenant General P. P. Malotra, Vishesh Seva Medal, Commandant, College of Military Engineering Pune, the reviewing officer for today's passing out parade. Lieutenant General P. P. Malotra, Vishesh Seva Medal, is an alumnus of National Defense Academy Kharakwasla and was commissioned in the Corps of Engineers on 18th June 1983. In his illustrious career spanning over three decades, he has held various regimental, staff, instructional and command appointments. The General Officer commanded an engineer regiment in CI area under the Northern Command and later commanded an engineer brigade. Instructional appointments of the general officer include instructor class B at College of Military Engineering Pune and as directing staff at the prestigious Defense Services Staff College Wellington. The staff appointments held by the general officer include tenure at MO Directorate and AAQMG at National Defense College. He was also posted in United Nations mission. The general officer has also been at military secretary branch at AHQ. Other staff tenures include brigadier combat engineers in headquarter Eastern Command and deputy director general at army headquarters. As a major general, he has held the appointment of chief engineer in Northern Command and additional director general as part of engineer in chief branch. Prior to taking over as Commandant, College of Military Engineering, Lieutenant General P.P. Malotra 
Vishesh Seva Medal was Director General Recruiting. The General Officer is also the Colonel Commandant of the prestigious Madras Sappers. The courses attended by him include Defence Services Staff College, Higher Command and the prestigious National Defence College. His qualifications include a B.Tech from College of Military Engineering Pune, M.Tech from IIT Pubai, Master of Philosophy from DAVV Indore as well as from Madras University. An avid sportsman, the general officer has played squash in inter-services level and also is a keen golfer. For his exemplary dedication and devotion to duty, the general officer has been awarded Vishisht Seva Medal, Chief of Army Staff Commendation Card and CISC Commendation Card. Veer Bhogya Vasundara. There is no denying the fact that soldiering is the oldest and most respected profession of humanity where the victor rewrites history and joins the lanes of gods. Whether it has been Lord Ram's army crossing the unfathomable sea during ancient times or Abhimanyu breaking the Chakraview in Mahabharat or Blitzkrieg or shock and awe of recent wars. The importance of occupation of land by ground forces has never lost its essence. Even in modernized battlefields, the basic military skills become the deciding factor. And here I put voice to the silent prayer of all the proud parents and guardians of the passing out courts. This is the prayer I say tonight. It is for my loved one who must fight. This prayer is not for this one alone, but for all the military far from home. I ask you to keep them safe and sound on their way to where they are bound. We love those that are asked to fight, so keep them safe for us tonight. All are requested to keep their mobile phones switched off during the proceedings today.
Gentlemen, today's reviewing officer, Lieutenant General P. P. Malotra, Vishis Seva Medal, Commandant, College of Military Engineering, Pune. The parade commander, Wing Cadet Captain Aditya Rajput, is now marching forward to give report to the reviewing officer. Gentlemen, the parade will now be inspected by the reviewing officer.
In a short while from now, the reviewing officer will award medals to those gentlemen cadets who have performed outstandingly well during the course of their training and will present the GOC in C R track banner to the platoon that has emerged as the best platoon in various inter platoon competitions. The awards which will be presented today are OTA Commandant Gold Medal awarded to the gentleman cadet who is first in the overall order of merit among the three cadets training wings. The winner is platoon cadet captain Rahul Chobe. He is being commissioned into 881 missile regiment. GOC in C R track gold medal awarded to the gentleman cadet who is first in the overall order of merit in cadet training wing college of military engineering. The winner is platoon cadet captain Rahul Chobe. GOC in C R track silver medal awarded to the gentleman cadet who is second in the overall order of merit in cadet training wing College of Military Engineering. The winner is platoon cadet captain Vivek Kumar. He is being commissioned into 108 engineer regiment. GOC in C R track bronze medal awarded to the gentleman cadet who is third in the overall order of merit in cadet training wing College of Military Engineering. The winner is platoon cadet captain Satyendra Pal. He is being commissioned into 8th Engineer Regiment. GOC in C R track banner is presented to the platoon which has performed outstandingly well in all fields in spring term 2020. The winner is Foxtrot platoon. May I now request Lieutenant General P.P. P. Malhotra, Vishes Seva Medal, Commandant, College of Military Engineering Pune, to kindly present the awards to the winners. OTA Commandant Gold Medal, Platoon Cadet Captain Rahul Chobe. GOC in C R track gold medal, platoon cadet captain Rahul Chobe. GOC in C R track silver medal, 
प्लेटून कैडेट कैप्टन विवेक कुमार जियो सी इन सी आर ट्राइव ब्रॉन्ज मेडल प्लेटून कैडेट कैप्टन सतेंद्र पाल GOC in C R track banner. The champion platoon is Fox Shot platoon. This is indeed a proud moment for the gentlemen cadets of Foxwood Platoon whose names will be etched in gold for winning the GOC in C R track banner. This is the result of the hard work, dedication and unbreakable resolve displayed by Foxwood Platoon over the last six months. In honor of this victory, the gentlemen cadets of Foxwood Platoon will wear their lanyards on the right shoulder for autumn term 2020. May I now request the reviewing officer of today's proceedings to kindly address the parade. Deputy Commandant and Dean, College of Military Engineering, Faculty and Wing Commanders, Officers and Gentlemen Cadets. It gives me immense pleasure in addressing the passing out course today before you embark on your respective journeys as commissioned officers. First of all, let me compliment you on your immaculate turnout and smart drill movements. I have been informed that the course has performed exceedingly well in academics with an average CGPA of over 7 and with one gold, silver and bronze torch. The course has brought laurels to the wing in many intercollegiate competitions and has proved their mettle at inter-academy competitions. You have performed outstandingly well in outdoor training with exceptional results in cross-country sports as well as extracurricular activities. The high standards of camaraderie and discipline displayed by the course is noteworthy. As I stand before you today, I cannot but recount my special day 37 years ago, my thoughts, my aspirations. And when I think about it, of what has changed over the years, I find that while our capability in the armed forces has increased, while our methodology and conduct of warfare and operations has changed, our core values remain the same. Remember as you don the colors of our great army, you must remember that you are among the privileged few who have the honor of wearing the olive green and lead a life of dignity and valor. Wear it with pride as it signifies courage and represents the sacrifices made by our illustrious predecessors. You will soon be taking the anthem pug and walking into a world full of opportunities and responsibilities. The only words which will be your beacon are immortalized by Field Marshal Sir Philip Chetwood, which have been adopted, imbibed and being followed by generations of soldiers. And I quote, 
the safety, honor and welfare of your country comes first, always and every time. The honor, welfare and comfort of your men you command comes next. Your own ease, comfort and safety comes last, always and every time." Unquote. A true leader has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to the needs of others. He does not set out to be a leader, but becomes one by the quality of his actions, the integrity of his intent, and his personal example. You will command the finest of troops and the bravest of men. Your troops should be your primary importance, as they give you unquestionable loyalty. You must inspire your troops with your character, courage, competence, commitment and compassion. Let me quote here the words of General Colin Powell, and I quote, The most important thing I learnt is that soldiers watch what the leaders do. You can give them classes and lecture them forever, but it is your personal example they will follow." Unquote. The profession of arms is not a bed of roses. When you go out of the academy as a future leader, you have a long way to go from truly becoming a military commander. Your legacy will be defined by morals, values and principles that preserve the core ethics of our army. Courage, gallantry, chivalry, discipline, honesty, loyalty, integrity, selflessness and professional competence should be the pillars of your leadership. Your rigorous training has made you mentally alert and physically strong. You have now to further improve by constant perseverance and strive to build further by your inspiring conduct, enviable comp competence, passionate commitment and uncompromising character. Barring your officers, let me remind you that the formative years will be the crucial period of your lives. You will be joining the finest of units and the men under you will be observing your actions. Make an endeavor of knowing your men, their regimental ethos and traditions and imbibe their values. As proud officers of the Indian Army, you will face many challenges. Face them with confidence, fortitude and resilience. Remember, as a young officer, you must maintain the highest standards of physical fitness as you will be a role model for the troops of your battalion or your regiment. Today's warfare is dynamic, change being the only constant. It is important that you keep yourselves informed and abreast with the current happenings. Constant learning and developing analytical skills should be uppermost in your mind. As the nation moves forward and aspires to attain its rightful place in the global and regional power structure, the need to protect our security interests will increase and success will come with persistence, commitment, bold leadership and selfless sacrifice. Lead your men from the front and set personal examples. On joining the ranks of the Indian Army and becoming part of its glorious legacy, it becomes your bounded responsibility to meet the aspirations of the nation. You have chosen a life extraordinary and have been equipped to be the best. Step out, exploit your strength, prove your worth and be counted. As you take the Paula Kadam into the portals of the Indian Armed Forces, do so with the land, confidence, self-pride and with the Army song resonating in your heart and mind. I take this opportunity to convey my special felicitations to the two gentlemen cadets from Bhutan and to compliment them on the successful completion of their training. I am confident that the training at the CTW has adequately prepared you to face the future challenges as you serve your country. I am sure you will maintain the dignity of CTW as its alumni and the bonds of friendship that you have developed here will strengthen and serve to strengthen our military relations as you rise in your careers. My best wishes and felicitations once again
to the gentlemen cadets of the passing out course TS-35 for your endeavors and your achievements. My special compliments to the award winners. Also a heartfelt congratulations and gratitude to the parents, brothers and sisters who have not been able to be present here to share the joy and pride due to the exceptional circumstances. I am sure that you will have had a major role in making this day possible and should feel justifiably proud. I am sanguine that these young leaders will do our nation and army proud. I would also like to applaud the entire team of CTW for honing the professional skills of the TS course. Finally, 13 June is going to be a historical day in your life. I am sure that with your selfless service, you will bring honor and glory to the alma mater and keep the flag of the country and the army always flying high. I wish you fair winds, good luck, good fortune and Godspeed. Jai Hind! Thank you, sir, for your golden words, guidance, appreciation, insight, and inspiration that is a source of strength to one and all present here, and especially the passing out course. Gentlemen, the passing out gentlemen cadets will soon take formal leave of this institution and cross the Antim Pug. champion platoon of this term to a representative of a junior course which is symbolic and will serve as an inspiration for the junior courses to emulate their seniors in the coming term. For the gentlemen cadets, the time has come to say goodbye to their alma mater, which has been their home for many years. The passing out gentlemen cadets will shortly come forward in slow march on the tunes of all Lang Syne, past the saluting dais, taking their final step, the Antim Pug.
students. Our prayers will always be with you wherever you go and whatever you do. May you survive many a storm without losing your calm. May you surmount many a challenge with dash and drive. May the sun never set over your ambitions and aspirations. May your days be filled with sunshine and happiness. On behalf of Colonel Kishore G. Evle, Commander, Cadets Training Wing, members of the staff and all gentlemen cadets, we thank you all for being a part of this passing out parade. Thank you and Jai Hind. May I now request Lieutenant General P. P. Malotra, Vishish Seva Medal, Commandant, College of Military Engineering, for a photograph with today's award winners. All officers are requested to kindly remain seated till the time the reviewing officer departs from the location.
Anderson. A very good morning to one and all. We welcome you to the pipping and oath taking ceremony of TES 35 course for spring term 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will commence shortly. In the meanwhile, allow me to brief you on the genesis of the TES entry. India has the world's third largest standing army which will be commanded by these young brave hearts who are not only physically fit and mentally robust but also at the forefront of technology capable of taking on any challenge with confidence. The Indian Army operates round the clock over a plethora of frontiers and terrains and there was a requirement to derive the maximum from technology to survive in a highly challenging and ever-changing environment. A need was therefore felt for techno-warriors who are able to keep abreast with the latest technological advancements leading to the inception of the cadets training wing on 5th of May 2000 under the aegis of College of Military Engineering. The journey of a techno-warrior begins with one year of basic military training at Officers Training Academy, Gaya. After their training at OTA Gaya, they report to cadets training wing College of Military Engineering for the technical leg of their training. It has been known since a long time that no war can be won without modern weapons and technical advancements. Cadets Training Wing College of Military Engineering Pune trains cadets from across the country to become techno warriors who can keep the Indian Army in pace with the modern world. Cadets Training Wing was raised in 2000 at the ET quarters present in College of Military Engineering before moving to its present location. And training started with the first TES course also known as the Pioneers. Since its raising, Carriage Training Wing has gratified the Indian Army with over 800 officers the country is proud of. It is said that heroes are not born but are made and such a lot is produced in Carriage Training Wing College of Military Engineering. Having world-class infrastructure, the wing has synthetic basketball, volleyball and tennis courts, an indoor gymnasium, PT sheds, hockey and football grounds and comfortable living accommodation for the gentlemen cadets. The cadets on reporting are distributed into six platoons. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie platoons are part of Bhagat Company named after Lieutenant General P.S. Bhagat, Victoria Cross, Param Vishesh Seva Medal. Delta, Echo and Foxtrot Platoon are part of Rane Company, named after Major R. R. Rane, Param Veer Chakra. Each platoon has its own color, flag, mascot and unique traditions. These platoons become the home of the gentlemen cadets for the next three years. Every day, the serene silence of the morning is pierced by the thundering voices of the gentlemen cadets sweating it out in the drill square and the PT grounds. The atmosphere of the wing gets infused with their emphatic josh and enthusiasm. The inter-platoon events are bitterly contested and the gentlemen cadets of the champion platoon receive the honor of getting to wear the lanyard on the right shoulder. After rigorous training of three years at Cadets Training Wing, the time comes marking an end to their gentlemen cadet days. Today is the red letter day for the gentlemen cadets as the boys will be transformed into men and will be sworn to emulate the gallant deeds of their brave predecessors. The confidence, toughness and willpower imbibed during training has helped the CME warriors 
to etch their names in history. Bravery is not a habit to be learned, but a decision yet to be made when standing against overwhelming odds. There is good reason to be afraid, but despair does not equal cowardice, and adversity does not equal defeat. Every man still has a fighting chance as long as his heart still beats. Be always valiant and forever fearless. We are Keres Training Wing, the Warrior Factory. We are the youngest and the best.
a very good morning to one and all. On behalf of Colonel Kishore G. Yevle, Commander, Cadets Training Wing, members of staff, and all gentlemen cadets, I, Gentleman Cadet Abhishek Singh Chauhan, welcome you all to the pipping and oath taking ceremony of TES 35 course for spring term 2020. May I take this opportunity to narrate the sequence of the pipping ceremony? The three wing appointments, Wing Cadet Captain Aditya Rajput, Wing Cadet Adjutant Abhishek Mishra, Wing Cadet Quartermaster Tarun Kumar Mishra, along with two foreign gentlemen cadets of the Royal Bhutan Army, will have their stars pipped on them by Lieutenant General P.P. P. Marotra, Vishesh Seva Medal, Commandant, College of Military Engineering, Pune. The platoon appointments, along with the rest of the gentlemen cadets, will have their stars pipped by faculty and various wing commanders.
सर
Gentlemen, the national flag will soon be brought amongst us by the Rashtra Dhwaj Toli. All are requested to rise. All are requested to salute the national flag on the word of command of Wing Cadet Captain, now Lieutenant Aditya Rajput. The officers are requested to kindly settle down. Gentlemen, the oath taking ceremony will now commence. to rise and salute the national flag as the Rashtra Dhwaj Toli marches off from the Pipping Ground. Officers are requested to kindly settle down. Wing Cadet Captain, now Lieutenant Aditya Rajput, will now deliver a note of thanks to the instructors of Cadet Training Wing, College of Military Engineering, and will offer sweets on behalf of the passing out course as a mark of respect and reverence.
आदरणीय सज्जनों मैं आज सभी नवीनतम राजपत्रित अधिकारियों की तरफ से अपने सभी शिक्षकगणों का तह दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करता हूं जिनके काबिल एवं निरंतर मार्गदर्शन से आज हम भारतीय सेना के उस उच्च वर्ग में सम्मिलित हो सके जो देश रक्षा निस्वार्थ सेवा त्याग बलिदान और कर्तव्य परायणता के लिए विश्व विख्यात है अंत में हम इनसे इस वादे के साथ बधाई लेते हैं कि इनके द्वारा दिए गए प्रशिक्षण को हम जीवन पर्यंत याद रखेंगे जय हिंद Gentlemen, the passing out course will now sing the army song followed by the national anthem. All are requested to rise and sing along with the passing out course.
Parad Madage! Parad Madage! Parad Madage! The officers are requested to kindly settle down. Now, the instructors of Cadets Training Wing College of Military Engineering will give their first salute to the passing out course and the passing out course will return the salute. The young officers on parade today stand tall and proud, with stars in their eyes as bright as the ones on their shoulders. They look forward to a new career, a new beginning, and a new life, a journey that shall be full of dreams as also one punctuated with the exacting ideals of honor, dignity, and sacrifice. This very challenging and onerous journey will begin with the auspicious first step the symbolic pehla kadam to the accompaniment of the soul stirring melody taqat watan ki hum se hai himmat watan ki hum se hai izzat watan ki hum se hai pehredar himalaya ke hum jhoke hain toofan ke sunkar garaj hamari seene phat jate chattan ke as they take the seminal step the pehla kadam so to say they will for time immemorial recall the oath that they took today to serve the nation, to lead their comrades, and to forever stay true to the uniform that they don. Within this overarching ethos, their steps will propel them variously towards their own unique destinies in the service of the nation. We wish them all the luck, every success, God bless, and Godspeed in their chosen endeavors.
Benjamin on behalf of Colonel Kishore G. Yevle, Commander, Cadets Training Wing, members of staff and all gentlemen cadets, we thank you all for being a part of the pipping and oath taking ceremony. May I now request all officers to kindly move to Shivaji Hall lawn for tea and interaction with the newly commissioned officers. Thank you and Jai Hind.